is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm here at the Betty Kenny Kelly Aquatic Center at the Barracuda Swim Meet where more than 200 swimmers tried to qualify for this year's Carifta Games being held in Barbados. We've got uh, Freeport here and um, Abacoa in, plus all our clubs in Nassau. And you can't pinpoint one or the other, you know, you've got all new swimmers as well as our older swimmers and some uh, Carifta times as well have been gained, so we're very pleased. Some good performances, um, top times from our swimmers such as Kevin uh, Lockhart, um, so we're looking pretty good for Grifter coming up. The majority of the team has qualified, um, it's just now finding the top two uh, swimmers in each event uh, for us, and also nationals, it's a little bit slower than Grifter, but the majority of them have qualified. Over at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium, the Queen's College Commons, well, they derailed the St. Augustine's Big Red Machines, who are looking to secure the 27th consecutive BAISS title yesterday. Oh, this victory was a long time coming. I'm so exhausted from running around the track, cheering. I just want to scream. Ah! Woo! God has done it for QC Comets. First of all, I didn't expect that. And I believe my coach, Mr. Markham, did, but I didn't. Going into 1.95, he, he told me not to jump it, but I had a good feeling at that jump, so I asked for one more jump, and I did it. So, firstly, my body was fatigued for the be from the beginning, so it was a surprise to me that I cleared it. But, like, at the last step, of the run-up, I felt it, and I got was able to get over. The championship matchup is all set in the New Providence Volleyball Association. The defending champions in the women's division, the Scottsdale Vixens, they will be playing the Johnson Lady Trekkers come tomorrow at 3:30 p.m. over at the Donald Davis Gym. In the men's division, the Technicians will they will be going up against the Scotia Bank Defenders. That's the men's defending champions. It was a day of fun down here at the National Tennis Center as the Bahamas Lawn Tennis Association and the Bajaxport Tennis Academy joined hands to host more than 50 students to play a round of tennis. We're trying to incorporate all the juniors involved. We had a clinic earlier with uh, the schools. A lot of kids from the government schools came out and we had a free clinic. We're trying to encourage uh, the growth of tennis in the country. Uh, we feel pretty proud that things are going well. We just had uh, junior team went to Junior Fed Cup and Junior Davis Cup, did very well. Uh, we have one of our juniors away right now playing on the uh, Kotec Tour, which means she's one of the better uh, players here in the Caribbean, Aisha Shepard, uh, playing with a group of kids from here in Central America. And we also have a team, World Junior Team, going off uh, the end of this, uh, the end of March to play. Uh, we did very well in that last year. So we see the sport growing, and if you look at it, you see there's a lot of young kids. We're trying to grow the sport, get the young kids involved. I really feel happy about this effort here. It's a fundraising effort between the Bahamas Lawn Tennis Association and the Jacksboro Tennis. We had a clinic, a uh, junior clinic, to introduce kids to tennis, and we had uh, Queens College, St. Anne's, uh, E.P. Roberts from the public sector and some kids from various little academies. So it went really well. We had about 70 kids and um, we were assisted by some of the up and coming junior players to help them. And it went really well. I mean, it was just a good introduction. The kids had a lot of fun. Uh, we got some sponsorship from uh, Commonwealth Bank and J.S. Johnson. So we was able to give them uh, a tennis backpack with little treats in it. Uh, we got some also uh, items from uh, Rubus. So um, again, you know, it's good to have corporate sponsors to help with the event. But the whole idea is to expose as many of our kids as possible to tennis. That's a wrap on sports. Once again, I'm Kelsey Johnson. Stay tuned. A check on weather is next. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.